All right, all right, all right. The World Cup qualifiers are finally over, but the main event is just getting started. There are now a select few who have grinded and worked their butt off to get to the final event, beating out millions of participants from all over the world. The prize pool is no ordinary one, with millions of dollars on the line and even thousands of dollars for low placers. It's the biggest Fortnite tournament to date and the largest prize pool in all of esports, period. 100 solo qualifiers as well as 50 dual partners have placed at the highest ranks invited to New York City to take on the best Fortnite players in the world for a grand prize. Everyone who's qualified for this event is guaranteed, I said guaranteed, a whopping $50,000 in earnings, at the least. Okay, so keep in mind that these players are coming from all over the world, man. The best players from the NA East, the NA West, Europe, Asia, Brazil, Oceania are all coming together in one spot to compete for millions of dollars. The Fortnite World Cup tournament in New York City will ultimately decide who are the best Fortnite players in the world are. But it's going to be a while until the actual event unfolds. So while we wait, here are our top picks for the solo players most likely to place in the top five. Okay, so keep in mind, these are not in order, okay, so don't judge us, but rather our top picks. Even if you didn't place in the World Cup yourself, hey, you can still get some arena wins with the tips and tricks you'll find on ProGuys.com. Hey guys, once again, this is Keith Allen. Let's do this. Phase Dubs is, without a doubt, one of the fiercest competitors in the Fortnite competitive scene. This guy is a monster when it comes to in-game fights and overall consistently. We've seen him place almost every single week and he's proven that he has what it takes to be the best. This has made him a household name in the Fortnite world and beyond. Oftentimes when someone is grinding to be the best at something, they're going to need a break or need to reset after a while, causing them to fall off, you know, as some people call it. But Dubs, he's shown us that he can come out on top consistently and do it quite easily. Probably one of the most iconic and outstanding aspects of FaZe Dub's gameplay is his ability to slay out in the end game. If we take a look at his stats in the previous World Cups, we're going to see that his eliminations greatly outweighs his placement points. His game IQ and movement in the end game are without a doubt some of the best in the game. It's very evident that he can pull off victory royales, even when playing against the best players in the world. We've once again seen him eliminate top class opponents in the midst of all the chaos that's in the pro end game. Okay guys, so for our second pick, we have Tifu, who may be a surprise to some of you. Believe it or not, Tifu has something that no other player competing in the World Cup has. Can you guess what it is? Okay, well, it's his ability to turn it on when he sets his mind to it. Honestly, hey, we've seen Tifu struggle with motivation throughout the World Cup. That was especially apparent when the pump was removed. He didn't necessarily play the best during these times, but if you were keeping track of Turner, you'd know that he did something no one expected. He decided that he wanted to make his goal to qualify for the World Cup. This goal would require a top three placing in the weekly tournament. We then saw Tifu absolutely dominate players as he rose to the top of the leaderboards. It was starting to look like he had a good chance of qualifying, and instead of just qualifying, this guy took first place, shocking the world. Yeah, Turner, you're 100% good. Like, there's you, no you think so? Do you think so? Definitely, Andy. Yo, 69, yo. <laughs> How do I know for sure? Well, let's let's let's. You've qualified. It's not even close. You had to wait till like 725, probably. That's really there were many times during his games that he actually had thrown away and lost opportunities, but he got so motivated and had such a strong drive that he pulled it off nonetheless. Tifu is also amazing at maintaining high ground in the end game. He almost always is the highest player on the map in the last crucial moments of the match. And this is usually what guarantees him the victory royale. You know, oftentimes we see Tifu playing very slow, and this is because he's taking his surroundings in and deciding what his next move should be, which shows his thinking that goes into decision making. All right, at number three, hey, we have another one that you may not expect. Are you ready? Well, ready or not, it's Liquid Riversign. Riversign has, without a doubt, showed off something that no one expected. He is most likely one of the most intelligent and underrated Fortnite pros in the running. He's absolutely in. 